What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Trevor Tortomasi, and I'm Paz Bueno. In today's news, a woman brushes her teeth a little too far. Scientists try a new way to fly rockets, and the world's oldest dog has a small celebration. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan, 女子误吞牙刷 woman swallows a toothbrush. In English, there is a saying, 说法 that some people bite off more than they can chew. If you bite off, 咬掉 more than you can chew, 咀嚼 that means you try to do too much and can't finish it or can't do it right. Well, one woman in Taiwan might have swallowed 吞下 more than she could bite. This woman in Pingdong woke up one day recently, still feeling very sleepy, and went to brush her teeth, 刷牙 in the bathroom. But she was so sleepy that, without realizing it, 不知不觉的 she accidentally swallowed the whole toothbrush. 她把整只牙刷吞下肚了 She quickly went to the hospital and told a nurse, 护士 what happened. But the nurse had to ask the woman to repeat herself a few times because she couldn't believe it had actually happened. 医院的护士请那位女士再三解释她的情况，因为实在难以置信 Doctors came to give the woman an endoscopy, 内视镜检查 which is when they send a tiny camera to look inside a person's body. And there it was, the whole toothbrush. <laughs> The woman says she felt some chest pain, 胸痛 but after they got the toothbrush out, doctors said she was completely fine. Of course, they agreed to keep her name a secret because she felt very embarrassed. 不好意思 So even though you should brush your teeth every day, just remember not to brush your stomach. Going global. 美国太空总署将测试卫星弹弓科技 NASA to test satellite slingshot technology. More and more rockets are flying into outer space each year. That's great news for science. But Earth's gravity, 地心引力 is very strong, so each rocket needs a lot of fuel, 燃料 to get up there. And burning, 燃烧 lots of fuel can be very expensive. It's also pretty bad for the environment, so scientists have been looking for new ways to get into space. And one new idea, 注意 might be ready soon. A company called Spin Launch has been working for years to create a special machine, 机器 This giant machine spins a small rocket around inside of it very, very quickly, and then lets the rocket go to launch the rocket up into space. 小型火箭装进这个巨大的机器之后，机器会开始快速旋转，最后把火箭弹出去，进入太空。The machine is 50 meters tall, 五十公尺高 ，and can spin rockets as fast as 8,000 kilometers per hour, 时速八千公里。That's more than six times faster than the speed of sound, 比音速快六倍。Of course, with a machine that moves this quickly, we can't put people inside the rocket. But scientists plan to use spin launch to send things like satellites, 卫星 into space. And they hope using this technology, 科技 can make launching rockets easier and better for the environment. Let's just hope it works. Today's feature: 世界上最老的狗庆祝新纪录 World's oldest dog celebrates new record. Have you ever met a dog who is older than you are? 你有遇到过年纪比你还大的狗吗 ？If you're ten years old, you have probably seen dogs older than you. But if you're twenty years old, you might never have the chance. 机会 That is, unless you meet Toby Keith, the world's oldest dog. Toby Keith is a twenty-one-year-old Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Who lives in the U.S.? He was born in the year 
and has recently been recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's oldest dog. This dog has been recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's oldest dog. This dog has been recognized by Guinness World Records. His family helped him celebrate with a nice bath, a fun car ride, and a cake made for dogs. But there was once an even older dog many years ago. In the year 1939, a dog in Australia named Bluey reached the old old age of 29 years old. Bluey is still listed as the oldest dog in history. It is still listed as the oldest dog in history. It is still listed as the oldest dog in history. So, if you ever meet an animal older than you, make sure you give it your respect. 尊敬 The recap. So, in today's news bites, one woman in Pingdong was so sleepy that she accidentally swallowed a toothbrush. When she went to the hospital, the nurse almost couldn't believe her story. Doctors helped the woman get the toothbrush out, and now she is feeling much better. And a company called Spin Launch is creating a special machine to send rockets into space. The machine spins a small rocket around inside of it very, very quickly, and then lets go to launch the rocket up into space. Scientists hope using this technology can make launching rockets easier and better for the environment. And Toby Keith is a 21-year-old Chihuahua who lives in the U.S. He was born in the year 2001 and has recently been recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's oldest dog. His family helped him celebrate with a nice bath, a fun car ride, and a cake made for dogs. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about food. There's a saying in English: "It's raining cats and dogs." It means it's raining really hard. But that idea of strange things raining down from the sky really makes you think, right? If the sky could rain food, what food would you like to have rain down? Record your message and send it to newsbites n e w s b i t e s at i c r t dot com dot t w with your name and age and if you'd like the name of your school. Make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署，下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K-12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.